And then someone go on. Do you have your phone? If you have Libre Traficante, can you go on the Libre Traficante page? So Lupe, put that camera on on mute. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Oh come on. Yeah. So then, I need. Cookie's gonna tell me if we're actually the sound is coming through. So right now we are live. We are live. We're gonna do a test. We'll officially be on at twelve thirty. Because you hear the sound? Oh yeah, is the sound coming through, Blitty? Sound is coming through. Fantastic. So, and uh, what time is it right now? Twelve twenty-four. We actually have six minutes, so we might as well just get ready for this. Um, you folks ready? I'm gonna tell you to give a cheer in one second. Three, two, one, cheer! Yay! Yay! Ladies and gentlemen. We are on the Libre Traficante Caravan of Banned Books towards Austin, Texas. We had a really wonderful launch at the Yolanda Black Navarro Middle School in front of the Latina Icons mural. We got some Latina icons on the bus. We're not gonna smuggle them right now, but the belly of this bus has got a ton of banned books that were taken to Austin, Texas. And I'll be stopping now and then to remind folks that they're tuning in. Of course, Folks on the bus, if you want your family and friends to watch, this is on the Facebook page of Libro Traficante. If you haven't liked the page yet, and then also air on Nuestra Palabra, Latino Writers Having Their Say, which is a radio show on KPFT 90.1 FM. Also Latino Politics and News on also on KPFT. And also on Fox26Houston.com. Because you may not have heard, but Every Saturday at 1 p.m., Nuestra Palabra streams live on fox26houston.com. So we are multi-platform. Even as other people are trying to ban our history and culture, we're making more right here. And we are continuing to find other ways to get the message up, multimedia or old-fashioned, because we show up in person the old-fashioned way. So we're thrilled to be joining different people. I'm Tony Diaz, Libre Traficante. I want to give a shout out to the five co-founders of Libre Traficante. So, Liana Lopez, where are you? Liana! Yeah. Lupe Mendez is working the camera over there up front. Woo! And the man with the hat, where's Brian Parras? He's got a hat too. Brian Parras! All right! Now we have another co-founder, Laura Acosta. She's in Austin right now. Here's what's fun. We've got a whole bunch of other folks in a bus that just left San Antonio. Hey, they're on the road. The San Antonio bus is on the road. <laughs> and then we have a whole bunch of friends in Austin that are waiting to receive us to launch an underground library. So if you know someone in Austin, let them know that we're gonna be convening at Palm Park, probably around 2.20, we're running a little behind. <laughs> at 2.20 at Palm Park, we're gonna launch the Libro Traficante Underground Library. And then we're gonna do the March for Cultura from Palm Park, down Cesar Chavez, up Congress to the Capitol, and we'll be at the Capitol. If you're not on the bus, or you're not at the march, don't feel left out. Please share this, tell your friends and family about what's going on. And then also, if you want to join us there in Austin, please do. If you missed today, or if you're watching this in a class, don't feel bad. You can still get involved. We're going to have writers from Austin part of our familia now. We're launching an Austin Nuestra Palabra chapter so that from now on, we'll all be in touch. We're opening an underground library, and La Peña there will be hosting it. So expect more writers to be visiting Houston, San Antonio, Austin, one right out after the other. I want to give a shout out to the original caravanistas who 10 years ago, when right wing Arizona politicians banned American studies, they jumped on a bus and for one week, we went across the whole Southwest opening underground libraries. We're going to do it again. So a round of applause to them and we're going to meet them and say hi. Woo! 
10 years, you're back. Tell folks your name and why you're back on the bus again. I'm Little Traficante Buti, and, and I'm back because our kids need a voice and have a right to know what their history is and how it impacts this, this country. That's why I'm back. Awesome. All the way from Baytown to the Promise Baytown, Center. Baytown the Promise Center. Thank you. Little Traficante the Star. Applause. Say hi. Hey, what's going on, everybody? So here's the deal. I'm a teacher, just like I was teaching. I'm now sound, and so we have to make the sound and our words known because we have to represent our kids and we have to stand up for them because when we stand up for them, they'll learn to stand up for themselves and then they'll stand up for the rest of the folks. And eventually, they're going to be opening the doors and then after that, there will be no need for a door because we'll all be able to enter freely. So, dale ganas, dale shine, and la chingada and beyond, like I always That's say. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Javier, Libre Traficante, El Indio, por favor, for 10 years! Woo! What's happening? Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Um, you know, this world is made of stories, and it's real important to learn the accurate, true history because um, it tells us who we are, where we came from, and our place in the world. Love it. And he's a writer. Thank you. A round of applause, por favor. Yeah. And then, of course, LibertaFigante.com has more information. I want to go to Gloria Rubeck, who's actually an alum from the first caravan as well. Say hi to Applause for Gloria! Yay! Hi, I'm Libro Traficante La Gloria, and I'm really excited about this trip today because we cannot continue to allow our governor and lieutenant governor to attack Mexican-American studies, queer studies, black studies. You know what? History isn't just old white men. It's everybody on this bus. <laughs> so, that's all. That's all. That's a lot. Thank you. And Gloria was part of our sign making party, which you saw some of the signs that have been around as well. So thank you so much, Gloria. And then Stalina, she actually went on the uh, caravan back to Tucson when they voted that terrible law down. Applause para yeah. Stalina. Woo! Woo! Why are you back? So I'm here because I'm trying to uh, fight against censorship and to promote literature and so that our books are no longer banned. That's awesome. Great sentiments. So just to remind folks, they can go to leaveitheticans.com. We're going to talk to more folks. But a couple things. We want Mexican American studies in every school, but also African American studies. They're finalizing the curriculum for Indigenous and American Studies and API, Asian Pacific and Pacific Islander Studies. We want all that as well, too. No more book bans. We're done with the book bans. Stop the book bans because politicians who say they want to get more family input, they're not talking to our families. They're not talking to the parents from our communities. So we're going to them. We also want to tell our community, you have to do this. If you're not on the bus today, get involved with your community. If you're not there in Austin at the Capitol, get involved in your neighborhoods. We need family libraries. We're going to create underground libraries for you to get to. We need murals. We need outdoor ways for us to learn our history and culture. Like, we got Chicano Bambarays in the house. We got Chicano Bambarays. Woo! Chicano history is all of our history. And like you said, we're standing up for everybody this time around. Now, I want to get to some folks that are new and first-timers as well. So, did you want to say a little bit something about why you're on? Yes or no? I think that means yes. Awesome. <laughs> we have two teachers. Hi. Who, anybody support teachers? Yeah. Woo! Um, hello. I think for me, um, we're from also from Puerto Rico, so we know what it's like to get banned and have gag laws um, on our community. So we're standing up for all communities that are being like repressed right now. We can't teach certain things in our, to our students and our students deserve to know the truth of history. And that begins with having access to books. Yeah, so we're here for our futuro because our students are the futuro of this country. And Latino, Latinx history, African American history, indigenous history, and Asian American history is American history. So we should not be banned from teaching it in our classrooms. That's awesome. Applausos. Hey, uh, Picante, high tech Aztec, what you got to say?
got a song on over Tommy. Right <laughs> All right, back in the studio. Hey, look, man, are we in the studio? Let me in, put uh, into the studio. Are we back on? Do me a favor, good go oh, check. Yeah, we're back on. All right, Brian Bada is doing his second take, so we rehearsed it a little bit. Now, Brian Bada, high tech asset, he helped produce the radio show for Nuestra Palabra, he helped organize the first caravan. He's with Dejas. They donate. He helped donate for money for the food. So I love the guy. That's why we can forgive all of his errors. <laughs> all, right, all right. Let me see if I can touch this without messing it up. Where is your camera? I'm, I'm right-handed. Okay. That right. I'm so confused. Why is it so weird? You got it? <laughs> it's, it's so weird. Let me take care of you. How's that? All right. It's just all backwards. Anyway, thank you. This is awesome. It's been... 10 years since our last ride, and it's uh, sad that we have to do it here in Texas, but we kind of knew it was it was going to happen. When we went to Arizona, we specifically went because we knew it was going to spread, and we had to stop it immediately. Um, we stopped it, and it still spread. So here we are today, and this time we have folks helping out from all over the state, all over the country, as you mentioned earlier. My friend Jacqueline out in California gave us a big donation and some of her friends donated also so we could feed everyone on the bus. Uh, but uh, we're, we're always going to learn our, our culture and our history. It should be in public education. It needs to be in public education because we're not the only ones who benefit from that. Our white peers, all of our relatives, black, brown, red, It's standing us and we the same benefit by understanding their histories, their culture, their contributions. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm excited. We're meeting new people too here on the bus this time. And we're going to meet new folks from San Antonio. So we're building the family. This is just the beginning. We're celebrating how many years, Tony? Just like 25 next 25 year. 25 years old. Um, so that movement is continuing to grow too. We have more writers. One of the one of the poets that helped start this is now the poet laureate of the state of Texas. Wow. That's huge. You can imagine what we'll have in another 10 years. So I'm not scared. I'm upset. I'm angry. But hey, they're they're bringing us together again to fight their nonsense and we'll see y'all in Austin. Yeah. And I want to talk to Boosie because she's joining us today with with some other guests. You got a couple seconds? Tell us, tell us why you're donating your time today to join us and go to the Capitol. Well, I'm also an educator. I'm the founder of Wu Women Healing and Empowering Women. I'm a mother. My two daughters are here as well. And as a woman of African descent and a citizen of the universe, I think that we have to join our forces together. My board members, Leanna Lopez, is on the board of Wu. We're here to support Mario Salinas, used to be on the board of Wu in the past. And we believe in the coalition of bringing indigenous people and known and dominant people together to fight for justice and fight for our right to uh, have whatever form of education we choose to have, to be able to read all our books and be able to know the history of all cultures and contributions of all people. That's, That's why awesome. I'm Unity. Woo! You get. You want to say a couple words? Um, well, thank you for having me today, and also me and Sophie are here uh, to support the um, this community. The community. I'm really grateful that we got to be here and experience a lot of these people with a bunch of talents. Also, we're here with my mom. <laughs> you already heard from her. Really yeah, wonderful this, this to have you both cool. here. Uh, uh, you're welcome. That's so great. Thank you for bringing them. Applause for the young ladies. We do have folks from every age, every background. We have one of the emerging Latina icons from Baytown, Dr. Chris Trevino. Hey, everybody. It's good to be here. Proud of uh, being on the bus with uh, all of my colleagues and everyone that is on our way to Austin. Uh, we're just trying to help people understand that they can abolish, abolish our history. Uh, they should embrace it. And uh, we just want everybody to know that 
we're here to make more history, even if they want to uh, take away our history. So thank you uh, for this time. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you very much. And yes, Paul, so. <laughs> Hi there, my name is Nayeli, and I'm, one of the main reasons I'm here is just uh, simple to support La Raza. I love that quote, like, you come for one, you come for all. Uh, so regardless of, of the issue, we always need to stand up in solidarity uh, with the, all our comrades, uh, regardless of uh, where they're coming from, their color, their ethnicity, the language they speak. So, um, yeah, I'm here in solidarity and excited to learn from everyone else. Awesome. Thank you. Those are some great words. Dr. Jesus Med Medell actually not only donated food for us, but he's the genius behind his whole crew for Guadalupe Museo Atzlad. Tell us a few words. Why? Sure. Yeah, uh, we are uh, here supporting uh, Nuestra Palabra. We're here to uh, to honor the uh, the works that uh, our predecessors did in regards to promoting uh, Chicano Latino studies. Uh, and we have a group with us from Museo Guadalupe Aslan that are behind us, my wife, Mary, Jose Vega, the president of our board, Venus Rodriguez, vice president, Mr. and Mrs. Pinedo, that are uh, our volunteers. So uh, again, we want to thank uh, the efforts of uh, Nuestra Palabra for the great work that they're doing and que lleguen sanos y salvos a todos. We also remind the community to uh, check out our Mega Mortajete that's behind the Leonel Castillo Community Center at 2101 South Street in Houston, Texas. It's a public art piece. Also check out our museum's uh, weekly, uh, excuse me, quarterly newsletter. The name of it is El Barrio Alacran. So uh, again, uh, thank you, Tony. Uh, we consider Tony uh, one of our living treasures of, uh, of Houston. Uh, Seguro. Y, uh, we're here to serve. Gracias. So, applausos, applausos, por favor. Thank you, Don. No, we love working with Musa Guadalupe Atzlan. I, I will add this too. We've teamed up in many different ways, including uh, as a fiscal sponsor. So, congratulations on uh, Musa Guadalupe Atzlan receiving the BIPOC Arts Network Fund Grant. We hope that they'll get more funding in the future. Yeah. Like, give me the camera. Yeah. 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 In 1979, I had a walkout from Jeff Davis High School because of the fact that they didn't let me speak Spanish. Wow. And uh, so at that time, I also we had a walk and we walked to City Hall. And also, uh, we told them that we wanted Mexican-American studies. Of course, they didn't give it to us, but now we're going to go to the Capitol and let it known That's that right. we want it and we, we're supposed to have it because we are the majority in Houston, Texas, and I don't understand why we don't have it in the high schools. All right. Thank you. Woo! Brother, I think everybody summed it up already. Uh, what I like is the fact that we have our youth here. Although she's going to remember this, our youth That's is going to awesome. remember this. And for us to encourage our youth to be part of something that we're doing right now, in, in its own words, it's historical. So for us to get our youth, uh, I applaud what you're doing, Mr. Tony, with Nuestra Palabra, Libro Traficante, the Museo Guadalupe Aslan, the Brown Berets to be part of this, and all the other organizations, LULAC, and for all of us to be part of this. Thank you for the invitation. Here. Thank Just you so much. Process. That's awesome. Exactly, for the youth. Hi, B. Rodriguez here, here in support. Um, we're happy to be on the bus. We're sponsored. We're, we're here with LULAC and the Museum, of course. Thank you. All right, sir. Bus! Lulac, almost 100 years old, por favor. Uh, thank you. I'm, I'm not quite that old. <laughs> but thank you. No, organ, or, yeah, I feel like it. Although our organization is over 85 years old. And uh, today we're very proud to write with Libro Traficante and uh, in noble efforts to bring back uh, books to the schools and to the community. 
uh, the first step of a totalitarian government is to ban books, to destroy knowledge. Yeah. And that's what that's the Spanish right. did, and that's what the, the Gringos continue to do, even to this day. They don't want us to know about slavery. They don't want us to know about the theft of all this land from Mexico to the United States. They don't want us to know of the genocide to the Native Americans. So therefore, they, they, they want to ban these books, books that are significant, books that are addressed for history. So we thank you, Tony, Libro Traficante, for your efforts, and we're here to help Lulac. All right. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> um, I agree with my husband. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for Thank being, you here. being here. Yes. Um, <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Uh, Chicano Palmer is in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Chicano power, Chicano power. And uh, hey, I want to give uh, acknowledge these guys in front of me. Appreciate everything y'all been doing. Appreciate this. You know, the scouts is important. You know, it's important to me. I'm here for the fight, for the battle, and the solidarity. To stand for my kids, my grandkids, because I want them to read their history. I want them to know their culture. You know, that's important as a people, as an Asa, that we know where we come from, we know where we've been. Because without that, right? But the Brown Berets are here in solidarity with everyone. We're warmed up. We're ready. We got our boots on the ground. We're ready for battle. Yeah. All right. Yeah. La Woo! La I'm Selena Brown Berets, and I'm just thankful of you for this opportunity. And I'm here with my daughters and just trying to, to show what it takes to your voice going and make it heard and thank you thank you thank you yeah no, I don't... yeah yes 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 Hi. that's good enough we're doing all of this for you so we know we know that you're going to be president of the u.s so thank you for coming all right, folks. Well, I tell you what, I want to remind folks, you can go to LibroTraficante.com for more information, the Twitter, the Facebook, the Instagram. I want to check if I missed anybody. I think I may have missed in the middle of the bus because I was falling. I, I just want to miss. I just I don't want to miss anybody. I think I got everybody. No sé si hablaron todos. Um, actually, I started here. Maria Elena, we're going to close with you. Uh, of course, I caught you in the middle of a chew. Uh, yes, I'm eating my sandwich. Close this out. You helped us with the signs. You've been a big part of Nuestra Palabra. Even when we used to do a book fair. How, how about, let's close with this. Sometimes people say, well, why are Libro Traficantes going and, and stirring up things? We're not stirring up anything. We became Libro Traficantes because our history and culture was banned. If you hadn't banned us, we wouldn't have gotten on buses. We wouldn't have become Libro Traficantes. And guess what? As long as you keep doing it, We'll keep trafficking books everywhere at any time. But Nuestra Palabra is the base of the Libro Traficantes. We used to organize this huge book fair at the George R. Brown Convention Center, which is where we met Maria Elena Cortez, who's also a teacher. So we do all that work as well, but we also step outside of the confines and restrictions of that traditional space to make sure that our hands are not pressed. Uh, close this out, Maria Elena, because um, you do so much. Well, thank you, Tony. Uh, it's really an honor to be here because 10 years ago, I wanted to be in the bus, but I couldn't make it because I was teaching. And this time I'm here. Uh, I, as a teacher, it's my responsibility to make sure that we write the books that are that tell the truth, the, the right stories. And it is my responsibility to be here. And I'm so grateful to be here. I can't wait to continue to write books. And as you know, my book was banned in 2012. Um, so here I am, you know, just... I won't stop writing and I won't stop uh, telling our story because it's part of our history. So don't be bold and continue to shine your light and don't be afraid to write the truth, the story that makes history real. That's awesome. Don't be afraid. Applause us. Yeah. yeah. Woo. All right. Well, I'm going to go by the Texas Poet Laureate, co-founder, leader with that. Ladies and gentlemen, Texas Poet Laureate. Rupa Mendes! Uh, okay, so 
Um, uh, Ten years ago, we did this because uh, there were lots of students who needed the support in terms of uh, making sure that they kept the books that they wanted because they were reading and taking part in amazing uh, educational programming and curriculum. And we're back at it again. We never stopped, actually. Um, and we're, we're looking at the fact that uh, we have a current legislature that wants to try to mandate um, what people can teach um, and want to try to rein in what they think is appropriate. Um, and they're not doing it right. And so we have to school them and tell them what's what um, by any means necessary. And so that's the work that we're doing today, every day. And so I give it back to Tony. All right. Hey, thank you, everybody. We'll be doing checkups later on. We are going to right now start planning. And thanks for your support. More to come later. And uh, long. Let's go. Ciao. Woo.